Hello, fat stringers and low and lovers. How the devil are you today? Okay, so today we've got just a couple of ideas on like fattening out your bass lines, basically. Um, what I want you to do is I need you to go like check out here, I think. Whoop! Right there. Go check out my major scale video because some of the terminology uh, in it will apply to this video. But also, um, just all you can just do as I'm doing, then remember what I'm saying and then apply that to feel ah come on let's just start this lesson okay so we've got a kind of like basic indie riff like an indie grunge rock riff bam 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 one two three one two three one two three one two three so we just seventh fret easy right seventh fret on the E string, with your ring finger plait twice, uh, plait three times, one, two, three. Come to the uh, third fret on the E string, index finger plait three times, one, two, three. Come to the fifth fret on the A string, with your ring finger plait three times, one, two, three. Finally come to the fifth fret on the E string, with your ring finger, and play that uh, three times, one, two, three. So we have this real simple kind of one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Okay, we want to fatten that up a little bit because it's boring. There's a couple of ways we can do that, right? So we can um, we can play like we can strum the fifth beneath it, right? Like, which gives it a much fatter sound. Or we can just like play them at the same time. I'm gonna, I'll go through that, right? Now the fifth. Um, Without you seeing that video and going into that like uh, in too much depth on how the major scale works and stuff like that, just just remember this as like a um, as a, as a kind of like a starting point, right? There's your root, right? There's your root note. Uh, in this instance, it's the seventh fret on the E string of your index finger. Yeah. And if you go down a string and then go two frets up from there, right? That next dot. Okay. So that's uh, so down one string on the A string and then up two frets and then you're at the ninth fret. Yeah, that's the fifth of that note, right? So you've got the root there and then you've got the fifth there. Root, fifth, root, fifth, root, fifth, root, fifth. That applies anywhere. Yeah, so if I was to do the same thing here, string down, two frets up, bang, 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 bang. And it's anywhere you go, yeah? You have this kind of like thing going on, right? They work beautifully together, the root and the fifth, harmonically. And that, in the first instance, is a great way of fattening up your bass line. So, for example, bam, 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 play the fifth with it. Bam, 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 bam. Now, how you decide to play those notes is completely up to you. You can go. All I'm doing there is going root, fifth, root, fifth, root, fifth, root, fifth. Or you can play them both at the same time, the root and the fifth at the same time. Bam, 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 bam. That fattens up our bass line, yeah? Bam, 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 bam. So if you've basically, if you've got a basic bass line, you want to give it more essence and more vibe and more everything, just play, try and play the fifth underneath it. Yeah, play the root and then play the fifth, right? You can play the, try both strings together. Bam, 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 bam. Yep, it works beautifully. So now let's, let's take that philosophy and apply it to the major third as well, as well, theoretically, right? So ignore the fifth, that's out, okay? That's a tool that you can put in your bass player's toolbox that you can use in the future, all right? And let's, let's try the same thing with the third, with our simple riff, right? And the third you'll find, okay? So there's your root note there, yeah? All right, so a seventh fret on the E strings we've discussed. If you go down a string and then up a fret, so in this instance, that's the sixth fret on the A string, with your index finger, that's the third, right? Third, bam. Bam, right there, yeah? Go anywhere, right? There, that's a third of that. That's a root, third, root, third, go anywhere. You go one string down, you go one fret up, and that that's the third. They're all over the fretboard, but that's, as I said, this is advantage, but it's just like a, a starting point, so that's a good one to remember. That's one third to remember, right? So there, bam, 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 bam. Now let's apply that to our riff like we did with the fifth. So we can go bam, 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 bam. So I'm playing it twice, I'm playing the note twice, and then on the third note, I'm playing the third of it. Yeah, so on the third note, I'm playing the third. Oh, sounds confusing, so slowly. Here's our riff, the one that we, you know, yeah? Bam, 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 bam. Again, it gives the riff more essence. Again, it doesn't matter how you play the notes. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. You can play them together. Each different like note out of that major scale that you apply to the root will give you a different feel musically. For example, if you were to play the third, the root, the third, and the fifth together, 
you get a kind of like that bluesy thing. And play the third again after that, you'll hear it. Yeah? A real simple kind of blues lick. That's just playing the root, the third, and, and the fifth. Now, if we were to now like do that with the octave in the major scale, and the octave is the, the last note, which is exactly the same as the first note. So in this instance, again, on your fretboard, right, there's our root note, yeah? On this instance, the seventh fret. Now, if we go two strings down, right, and two frets up, right, instead of, instead of the fifth, which is there, you go down one string, it's there, right? So your octave, bam, is there. Root, and there's your octave. Two strings down uh, and two frets up. So bam, 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 there. Yeah, and that applies again everywhere on a board. Anyway, anywhere your root is, if you go two strings down and then two frets up, it's actually three frets up. I think I've been saying that wrong. It, you can you can see with your eyes, yeah. The power of your eyes. That will be that, that's your octave right there, yeah. So root, octave, root, octave, root. There's so much you can do with just the root and the octave, you know. If without that, it would be. <laughs> yeah, so you can already hear how that's going to like brighten your bass line. So let's let's apply it to our bass line. Yeah. Um. So I mean, the, the playing with the octave. So you've now got like three different kind of like tools to like, in, like you know, just kind of pump up your lines a little bit. Bam, 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 bam. There's, there's three ideas. Start mixing them together. There, I'm playing the root, root, the fifth, the octave. Let's try play the root, root, the third, and the octave. Nice, right? I like that actually. Yeah, um, let's play the. Just make it up, man. Uh, root, root, third, fifth. And these are all sounded like different bass lines. And all you're doing is just taking what we learned. One, two, three, one, two, three. All we're doing there is playing the root. Then we're gonna add stuff. So the fifth. Bum, 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 the third. It, it, as I said, it doesn't matter what notes you play um, in that instance, just just apply that. And if you really wanted to pump them up, you could play the root, the fifth, and the octave as a as a chord like that, and that would really pump your lines up. So there's a few theoretical ideas um, just from taking simplest part of the major scale and applying them to um, a, a bass line that we've created and hopefully you can see how they will that fattens up your bass lines and gives you a lot more musical ideas sometimes in a musical context these won't work and, and there will be a theoretical reason why they don't work if you're playing with a guitarist or a pianist or something uh, and you'll be like oh man it doesn't work and it's just a case of going like okay like the fifth didn't work music well no the third didn't work musically for me so I'll try and apply the fifth and see what that happens to the root, or I'll try and apply the octave and see what that happens. And there's so many other ideas as well with scales, um, and you can go into like, and you can take other like notes which apply, and they'll all give you a completely different feel. But this is probably at its most like bog standard and basic um, idea, I think. Anyway, I hope it helped in some way, my friends, and I shall see you in tomorrow's lesson.